This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Cincinnati police again crack down on those breaking curfew, making dozens of arrests over a fourth night of protests. The curfew started earlier last night at 8 p.m. Chief Elliot Isaac told us his officers spent the first 20 to 30 minutes driving and walking around, giving people warnings, telling them to go home. But as promised, he says arrests for those not complying with the curfew followed. Police also confiscated several guns last night, including these, one assault-style weapon with a 100-round magazine. Our Evan Millward also saw several people get pulled from a car and taken into custody after allegedly pointing a gun at a fellow news crew. Several guns were recovered from that car. Chief Isaac tells us three shots were fired near his officers on Main Street. There were protesters later in the evening that were getting violent. Happening today, another litigator device will be installed to help keep trash out of the Mill Creek. We have footage here of our original story on the garbage grabbing invention, which uses a funnel effect to steer trash toward a cage. The latest litter getter is set to be put into the creek this afternoon at the spot where it flows into Winton Lake. Jennifer. Julie, it's a gorgeous start to the day. Like I, I, I keep using that adjective today, but it is just nice outside. It's not too humid. It's not too chilly. Temperatures are going to warm quickly thanks to the dry air today. We'll end up in the mid 80s. And if you're like, oh, it seems a lot warmer than yesterday. It is. It's 10 degrees warmer than what we had yesterday. And tonight won't be quite as cool. Dew points are rising slowly today, but that will keep the overnight temperature up only a low of 67. And then tomorrow, storm chances are back. I'll get into the timing of those storms, but the severe threat includes damaging winds and large tail late day Wednesday.